let's get into the video y'all because i know y'all want this tea period magic city hey. i keep going up keep going up my friend them are the criminal type so today's video is in partnership with Dacia Perfumes. You guys, I hope you're not tired of me talking about Dacia. I love Dacia. You guys, so they sent me two perfumes this month to try out for you guys to do um, a quick review. I do want to say that I genuinely do love Dacia Perfumes because, y'all, let me tell y'all. So at the end of 2020, I did decide to go and start the process of purchasing a home. Now, when I'm calculating all these bills, I'm like, damn, like I need to stop buying so much expensive stuff. And you guys know I love buying expensive perfume. But of course, with Das here, I am gonna start, well, I already started, but I am gonna start purchasing more affordable perfume and that's what dossier does you guys they provide um like a luxury dupe if you want if you for example if you want to go and buy the giorgio armani c which is my favorite perfume you could just go on dossier and get you the same same smell it's just a dupe for 29 dollars and that's what i really really love about dossier perfume okay y'all another good thing about dossier say for instance you receive your dossier perfume like this right this is what you get when you order from Dossier, I'm sorry, y'all, I kind of messed it up. You get the little trial size, and then you get a 50 ml bottle of perfume. Now, if and when you do purchase from Dossier, when you do receive the little perfume, if you smell it, you don't like it, just let me tell y'all, you send it back to Dossier. They don't ask no questions. You get a 100% refund, okay? So, this is you just trying out some perfume. If you don't like it, they will gladly give you your money back. All right, you guys, so today they sent me the floral four. I'm going to smell it for you guys. I'll leave all the information for this exact scent on the screen. I'm so nervous. Oh my God. A lot of their perfume um, replica, uh, replicates very expensive perfume. Oh my God. This smells heavenly, clean, light. And, and then they also sent me another floor one. This, I love floral, like period. This is the Floral Lavender, and the inspiration is the YSL Libre Eau du Parfum. Lit! I'm excited! Very excited! Alright y'all, so let's try out the Floral Lavender. I'm gonna let it air out. Damn, this is strong! Y'all, this smells like lavender, vanilla, <laughs> grapefruit. Yeah, this smells so good. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest though, floral four and floral aldehydes, hands down, is my favorite. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Balsia, I will leave the link down below. Just let y'all. Let's get into the video, y'all, because I know y'all want this tea. Period. Let me tell y'all. A little while ago, like about, I want to say about a year and a half, going on two years, I was talking to this dude, right? And this dude, you know what I'm saying? When you dating, you trying to, come on. When you dating, you trying to figure out each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know stuff. So I remember this dude was like, oh, I don't like girls that um, don't have wipes. If I go in your bathroom and you only got toilet paper, I don't like that. You need to have wipes. So, you know what I mean? I started lying. Like, oh, I, got, I use wipes. Child. I started using wipes, y'all changed my life if you guys use wipes comment down below let me know if y'all like it better than toilet paper i absolutely love wipes y'all like i go through these a lot so these are the cottonelle flushable wipes y'all i go through these wipes i go through these wipes y'all like it's nothing like nothing i love these wipes i get these from the px um not the px i'm sorry i get these from the shop at the commissary has them on post the px has them if you're interested i just it doesn't give my booty that wet feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like if you use toilet paper and you wet it and you wipe your head. It doesn't give me that wet feeling. I absolutely, I cannot live without toilet wipes. And that's on period. I love these. I'm, don't say I ain't put y'all on, please. And if, and if you guys try these pro any products out and y'all really like them, please tag me on Instagram so I can know. The next product that I'm absolutely in love with is the Clearasil Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Pads. Y'all, I got so many of these laying around in my, in my crib, but these make my, fa my face feel so 
fucking clean. Ooh. These make my face feel so clean, y'all. I get this from the PX as well. The commissary has them everywhere on base has them. If you guys are interested in them, but I'm not gonna lie, I use the whole set. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, let me show y'all. I use the whole set, y'all. Like, look at this. Like, I use the whole set. Like, I absolutely. I used to be a big, 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 big fan of um, she's that Clinique. I still love Clinique, but Clarisol has really cleared up my skin. If you guys can see, Clarisol has really, really cleared up my skin. I love Clarisol so much. I hope one day they sponsor me because I love them. This is another one that's in my favorite. This is the Stubborn Acne Control 5 in 1 One Minute Mask. Okay, y'all? So you apparently only need to use this for one minute. I'll leave it on for five minutes, okay? I put it on, go shower, come out. Shit, I love it so much. I even. Um, suggested it to my partner because I love this so much. Um, this says it fights five stubborn acne problems, block pores, pimple size, excess oil, acne marks, and blackheads. And I have a lot of blackheads on my nose. Y'all, I've been having blackheads since I can remember. I remember growing up, my homegirl used to like try to take a rag and take all my blackheads off. I'm like, girl, no matter how much I try, they're gonna come back. They blackheads, but I absolutely love clear so y'all. Please try clear so and tell me how y'all like it because. 2020 clear so I have my face on fleek. I stopped using my Clinique y'all for real. Just to keep going into skincare, this is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. Y'all know my y'all know the story with me and Clinique. I absolutely love Clinique. Y'all, and I'm almost done with this as y'all can tell. Clinique is the first product that actually initiated me into like really taking care of my skin, bro. I'm telling you, like I used to just wash my face, take a shower, wash my face with body wash, and keep it pushing. No, like I really do treatments I do masks like I just really now that I'm getting older I just want to look younger like I just want to look good I'm trying to be more grown you know what I mean so I just really started taking care of my skin I know that sounds nasty and stuff but I just really didn't care back in the day but now I just really been taking care of my skin but this is the first soap that ever changed my life this is the Clinique liquid facial soap the oily skin formula and I absolutely love this but again like I tell y'all I don't use products by themselves I always use them in um set so i also have the clinique clarifying lotion it's twice a day exfoliator but i like the pink one not this one i'm not a really big fan of this one but i like the pink one but every time that i use skincare i use it in sets so please y'all all right so i know 2020 y'all been seeing my hair has been flicky okay y'all know in 2019 i used to be coming on here looking crazy with my wigs but i'm gonna put y'all onto this product that changed my life okay all right, like y'all see with this wig, right? With the baby hairs and stuff. Y'all see that? Oh, Jesus, I look good. What the fuck? Okay, y'all see the baby hairs? Bitch. Baby! No Roby? That's how you say it? No Roby? Oh my God, this is the best product. If you want to fleek your wigs, if you want to learn how to make your wig more flat, because remember, bitch, I know them days when we used to have them bumpy, lumpy wigs, okay? You want to make your wig flat, you put some mulch, take a hot comb, you press that shit. You want to mulch baby hairs, you better use some Nairobi. You know when I got put onto this? When I did my big chop and I went to there so I got finger waves. I seen the lady use this. I'm like, hmm, let me try this out. Fell in love. I have like eight of these in my room. I got like three in here, two out there, five in my closet. I absolutely love Nairobi. But be careful when purchasing this, y'all, because they do have fake bottles of Nairobi so be careful when purchasing it online I would suggest Amazon or go to your beauty supply store because I'm telling y'all I saw Nairobi they posted on Instagram that there are people trying to fake these so please be careful because I don't want your hair falling out and then y'all blaming it on me okay so it says that it's good for waves scrunches conditions fast drying like that's how I laid my baby here today y'all with Nairobi period the fuck y'all see that Chum. see the baby hair Play with your mama, don't play with me. Okay. Um, non-flaking adds body and wet set wet setting. So A1, please don't say I ain't put y'all on a low. Oh yeah, I forgot to um add this, but also with my Clinique set for my face. I have so many products I love, but like the products I'm telling y'all y'all, they really work. I have no reason to lie y'all, they really fucking work. So when you guys see a difference in my hair, my skin, my body, you know what I'm saying? this is why but this is the clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel as y'all can see i'm running out this is my baby i'm at the point where like i'm scraping to get some left but this 
is the only face moisturizer that I use. This is crack in a bottle. This is cocaine in a bottle. This is love. This is everything that I could wish for in a moisturizer in a bottle. I love this because when I put it on, y'all, I don't look greasy. You know how your mom used to put Vaseline on your face the same school? None of that. Um, I really, really do love it though, y'all. I love it also as a primer. I'll put this on after I wash my face to do my makeup. Yeah, love this so much. It doesn't make me look shiny or oily. My baby. <laughs> I used it today. I love this so much. I have to buy a new bottle because I'm running out. So there's a company that sent me this. This is the Lang Lang Yi Glowy Makeup Serum. Okay, let me tell y'all. If you are a YouTuber and you want free products, go to the I'm, I'm gonna leave the website down below. It's called Akali, whatever. Um they send you free products, but in return, they want um like a little mention in a vlog or whatever. Yeah, they sent me this product. I ain't never did the vlog. I ain't never even mentioned the product. It's because Tom just kept like I just I just lost track of time. But when I finally used this product, y'all was like, oh my god, I feel so bad. I never did the fucking mention. But this product is amazing, y'all. Let me show y'all what it looked like. I don't know how much it costs, so I'm not gonna lie. Come on, baby. Show zoom in. You see? I love this product. This actually I'm almost out of it, but this has a dropper. If you guys have seen those YouTube video or those like Instagram makeup videos where they like press it and it's all oily. Between this and the Clinique, this is actually one of my favorite primers. I don't even know if it's a primer. It's not a primer. But I use it as a primer and it feels so good. It makes my face feel so good. But a little bit goes a long way, y'all. If you put too much of this, you're going to be looking crazy. Be crazy. But I love this so much. It makes my skin soft. makes my foundation go on perfect period but yeah i don't know how much it costs and uh, i'm running out of it but i really feel bad because i didn't go through with that um collaboration but i'm gonna go in with the foundation i have on today do a close-up baby <sighs> this product right here y'all bitch look at that this is the Maybelline fit me foundation in the color 330 toffee that's the color i am in this foundation okay y'all period this is available at walgreens walmart like anywhere that's any drugstore sells maybelline now i have foundation from so many different companies i got 50 dollar foundation 60 dollar foundation i got a lot of makeup y'all a lot of makeup but hands down the foundation that i always run to is the maybelline fit me and i think this is only like what seven dollars i think they have the matte and poreless um one and then i think they have a dewy one or a normal one but i always get the um matte one because as y'all can see i'm an oily grease mess okay but this one this hands down is my favorite foundation this and my tart um creamy concealer not tart what my tart shape tape always blends well it just makes me look so flawless it covers up my marks i didn't put a lot down here today but this is my favorite foundation y'all it's only like seven dollars okay so you don't need to go invest in no expensive foundation okay you i'm telling you you don't need it okay so go ahead cop this i love oh my god i have three right now like i just love this this foundation is amazing it's worth every penny and that's on period okay this is the Too faced born this way translucent setting powder this is what it looks like okay y'all i purchased this from the sephora in what the fuck was i at What was I at? I think I was in Frankfurt. Okay, y'all. It was, it was like two hours away. It was far. But this, hands down, has to be my favorite translucent powder. Like, I set with this. I bake with this. I set my whole face with it. All that. This powder, y'all, you put it on, you can't even. When I say translucent, like, it's even knocking um the Laura Mercier translucent powder out of the park. Because when I put this on, flawless. I could put some on right now. I'm not going to do that because it looks so pretty. Anyways. This is my baby, y'all. This is my baby. I set my whole face with this. I put it on a little, little brush, like a little powder brush. Gone. Sets my um, sets my concealer amazing, y'all. My concealer don't crease. Like it's just flawless. Like sometimes when y'all see me looking flawless on Snapchat or Instagram, my Instagram story, sometimes it's not a filter. It's literally like the Born This Way translucent powder. I want to try the Born This Way foundation and concealer really bad. Comment down below if you've ever tried it. I've never tried it. I really do want to try it though. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go into some hair products. <sighs> yeah, I know I cut my hair. 
a couple years ago, y'all been asking me, how you get your hair to grow long? What you been doing with your hair? Blah, blah, blah. Jamaican black hair story, baby. I don't even have to speak about Jamaican black hair story. Y'all already know the deal. You can get Jamaican black hair story from so many different places. You can get it from the beauty supply. You can get it from anywhere. You can get it from so many different brands. There's so many different companies that create Jamaican black cast oil. But I like this kind, the Sunny Izo Isle, whatever the fuck it's called. I absolutely love this. As y'all can see, the bottle is done off. Okay, done off. There's nothing left in there. But I really, really love this. I put it on my edges. I put it in my scalp. I massage my head with it. And this literally helped my hair grow so fast, as y'all have seen over the... Um, couple of years now when it comes to my real hair i'm gonna cut it off again i told you guys this already but but i don't like short curly hair i don't find anything attractive about it i really think i look like a child when i have my real hair out there's only one product in this whole world that can i can put in my hair that will make me feel beautiful with my short curly hair and that is oh my god i can't believe i put it on okay that is Bam. This is the Uncle Funky's Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic. My homegirl sent it to me. Okay, I didn't buy it, y'all. My homegirl sent a girl sent it to me. I guess she got too many PR um products, so she sent it to me. Fell in love. Like, fell in love. This is the curly stem letters for kinky and cur kinky, curly, and wavy textures. So let me tell you what I do. When I wash my hair, I put a mask, um, a hair mask on, leave it on for about an hour, maybe seven hours. Shit, depends on how I feel that day. I wash it out. I separate my hair, y'all, and I finger comb my hair, and then I put this product in there. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I use a lot of the product. I'm gonna show y'all how it's, it's real gooey. You see? It's real gooey, like, it's a very gooey texture, but when it, you, when it dries, it's so beautiful. Like, look how gooey it is. But when it, oh my God, it makes my curls look shiny. It makes my curls look healthy. But it doesn't elongate my curls. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you got short, if your hair is really, really curly and it, it looks short, it's gonna look shorter. That's the only bad part. But I personally love the Curly Magic. That is the only product that can do it for my hair. The only product, like. The only product, period. I don't even know what to say about this product, y'all. <laughs> like, I got put onto this body butter. Um, it has hemp oil in it. I'm speechless. I, I, I'm speechless. This body butter costs ten dollars. This is from a company called Malika's Vision. I purchased it with my own money, so please don't think, you know what I mean? I purchased all the products that I'm showing y'all in my favorites, I purchased with my own money. Except for this one, this a girl, a girl that has too many products gave it to me. But other than that, I paid for this stuff with my own money. This is her body butter. It has hemp coconut oil, raw shea butter, beeswax, and cedar wood oil. Y'all, since I have received this product, it, it didn't take long actually, it took very quick to get to APO. what this smell like this smell like if you're from new york this smell like a backyard party with magic making dudes and they they smoke a weed this smell like you're going to see a dude and he live in the projects he live on flatbush and him and his homeboys is outside smoking weed this body butter is the closest smell i can get to new york when i smell this body butter y'all want to cry oh my god it smell like yo I, let me get a front toe let me show you guys how it looks. I have been using this non-stop, you guys. And a little bit goes a very long way, okay? A very long way. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to support it. Um, support her brand or not. But I know I did. But I'm just going to show you guys. So, I'm just going to put it on. It makes my skin so shiny. I love it. A little bit goes a long way, y'all. Like, oh my God, bitch. You guys see how shiny my arm got? It's a body butter, y'all. It's not no Vaseline. And I'm be honest with y'all. Since I had, since I had, since I bought this body butter, I've been putting it on after a shower every single day. My partner hates it. He's like, "Yo, like, all right, ma, like, you don't want some lotion?" I'm like, "Nah, motherfucker, I, I like this smell. This reminds me of smell like New York." All right, y'all. So for the last product of today's video, my homegirl hit me up and she was like, "Hey, my cousin sell candles. Um, could you try one out, please?" 
I'm like, yeah, girl, you know I love candles. Everybody know I love candles. I got a whole candle collection. I'm like, girl, send me the candle. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I like free shit. Like, I didn't think the candle was gonna be that nice. So this candle is owned by a Haitian company. Number one, that's what sold me. Period. I didn't know that the the company was Haitian. She didn't tell me that. So this is Chez Pierre luxury candles. Y'all. Can I tell y'all something? When I buy, well not when I buy, excuse me. When I close on my new home, this is the candle that, all right, this, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. So when I close on my home and everyone leaves, the realtor leaves, the lender, everyone leaves, the first thing that I'm gonna do is put out this candle and burn it. This candle, I could cry right now. This candle smells like luxury it smells like i can't even explain it smells so good and the only reason why i have not burnt this candle yet is because i'm saving it for when i close when i get to the house and i close on the house this is what oh my god you guys oh my god. i can't even explain this smells like the only thing i can say this smells like is luxury this smells like rich this smells like like oh my god like my skin is crawling it smells so good like the only thing i could say it smells like is luxury and money it smells so fucking good this is what it looks like you guys these are homemade candles y'all this candle i don't know how to, this is an 11 ounce candle i don't know how to say the name i don't know roman numerals <laughs> i ain't that smart but i will leave this down below y'all all i'm saying is this is the first thing that i'm pulling out when I close on my house. This is absolutely amazing. And it's a Haitian owned company. So you know I thought I would throw it in this video because this is just sickening. Oh, they're from Austin, Texas. Oh wow, that's nice. So that is it for today's um video. These are all generally the products that I love for 2020. I want to come and put y'all on any of the products that you purchase. If you guys want to purchase, you don't have to. I just want to share my favorite products. Please let me know how y'all liking it because if I love it, I know y'all gonna love it. Like I know it, especially the skincare. Like I know you guys are gonna love it. But um, that is it for today's video. If you guys use any of the products that I mentioned, please comment down below and let us know how you like it because I know I'm not the only one feeling over these products. Let me show you how many products I got in this motherfucking bathroom. Look at this, y'all. I got mad products. Like, and that's just in here. Like the closet, the makeup desk, the bookshelf mad products i just love products but i don't love all my products i got some products in here that i hate that i should probably do a video on i don't know but anyways i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in my next video